When you're thinking about changing materials, you're supposed to look at freezing. But what else can you freeze other than water? Well, why don't you try some different liquids? So I was thinking about what you could do, thinking about freezing, other than just water. And I thought, well, why not freeze other sorts of liquids? So I started off with water. I did this one. And I actually boiled the water to see what would happen. And if you have a look, you can see I've got an absolutely clear ice cube. I'll put it down there. You'll be able to have a closer look. See how clear that ice cube is? Yeah. The cloudiness in the centre is there's still some minerals left in the water. But the rest of it is because it's boiled water. Yeah? That's pretty good. I like that one. And this set me off thinking, what on earth could I do? So, salty water. I put a couple of teaspoons in, gave it a stir, let it all dissolve. So we've got clear water. Yeah? Okay. And the children would see that. Look at this one. And after freezing, the clear water becomes cloudy. Becomes cloudy, yes. You've got totally cloudy water, which is the salt. Salt is a mineral. Okay. And as with the other one, you know, I said the cloudy bit was in the, in the middle was minerals. This is all through. It doesn't migrate or anything like that. It's all through. Salty water, frozen. Wow. So, <laughs> somebody asked me, what would happen if you froze fizzy pop? I had no idea, so I had a go. It's risen above the top of the glass. <laughs> and when I turned it over, what a surprise. Look at this. And all those holes on the surface are... Well, fizzy pop is full of carbon dioxide gas. Those are the bubbles. And as it freezes, the bubbles, the gas, don't freeze. So you get this ice sculpture full of holes. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it, that one? I was getting very creative by this time. And so I thought, what about coloured water? Now, this was ordinary water coloured with green food colouring, and the whole lot was green. But that's important. And I would show the children that. Put it in the freezer and look what And all happens. the colour has come to the centre. Yes. When we looked at the, um, the boiled one right at the beginning, you saw we had a little cloud in the middle. As the water freezes, and it freezes from the outside, the colour is pushed, displaced, really, into the centre. So you get this amazing ice sculpture. And each one is different. I think that's a really exciting and different way to show freezing, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>